Welcome, listeners, to the Vyond Podcast. Today, we're embarking on a, well, a really fascinating deep dive. We're looking into one of the universe's biggest mysteries, dark matter. But what if the search isn't happening way out in space or deep underground? What if it's actually much, much closer? That's exactly right. Get ready to maybe shift how you think about, you know, empty space. Mm -hmm. We're going to explore this really interesting theoretical idea, suggesting our own planet might be helping us find it. Okay, let's unpack that. So, Earth moving through space, but also through an invisible ocean of dark matter. That's the usual picture, sort of. But here's the twist, right? This research suggests this ocean isn't still. It has waves. Exactly. And that's what's so fascinating. We're not talking about tiny individual particles here, like a lot of models assume. Think something incredibly light, um, millions of times lighter than even the lightest particles we know, like neutrinos. So light, it behaves more like, well, like big waves sloshing around. Freshing around the cosmos. Wow. And these waves are, what, hitting Earth? Yeah. The theory describes them as sort of slamming against our upper atmosphere. Gently, maybe, but constantly. Okay, so these dark matter waves hit the atmosphere. What actually happens then? What does it do? Well, this is the really cool part. The research suggests these interactions generate something we can potentially detect. Radio waves. Radio waves. Yeah. How, how does dark matter make radio waves in our sky? Uh, the key seems to be our ionosphere. You know, that layer high up, full of charged particles. It's basically a plasma, and plasma can have its own waves. Plasma waves. So the idea is these incoming dark matter waves could interact with the plasma waves, stir them up in a way, and that interaction is what could produce these specific radio signals. So our own atmosphere is acting like a giant detector, yeah. converting invisible dark matter waves into radio signals. That's the theory, yes. It's a completely different way of looking for it. Instead of building huge detectors, we might just need to listen very carefully to the sky. Listening? But isn't the sky already full of radio noise? From, well, everything. Space. Us. Oh, absolutely. That's the huge challenge. Distinguishing a potential faint, specific dark matter signal from all the background noise natural and human-made is incredibly difficult. It's like trying to hear a tiny whisper in a very loud room. You need clever ways to filter out everything else. Right. Makes sense. So it's not easy, yeah. but the possibility is there. So the search for dark matter might literally be happening right above our heads in our own atmosphere. It really makes you think, doesn't it? about all the invisible things potentially interacting with our world. It certainly does. It shows there's always more to uncover, maybe in the places we least expect. Fundamental physics happening right here. Well, we hope this deep dive gave you some incredible new things to think about, some real food for thought. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.